so the date so the date what we're going to discuss about the circle so a circle we have two forms you have general form and standard form okay for general form we have x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero and for the other general form we have ax squared plus ay squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero where a here in this general form is not equal to zero and for the standard form, we have two center, center located at the origin, and the center h comma k. Okay, for the standard form of the center at the origin, we have x squared plus y squared is equals to r squared, where r here is the radius. And for the center h comma k, we have a uh, quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared is equals to r squared. Again, the r is the radius. Okay, so let's have a example. For general form and then standard form. Okay, for general form, we have, like for example, we have x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 4y plus 10 is equals to 0. Okay, so this is the example of the general form. For the standard form, for the uh, center located at the origin, we have x squared plus y squared is equals to 25. Okay, so this is the example of the standard form of the center located at the origin. For the example, for the uh, um, center h comma k, so we have quantity x minus 7 squared plus quantity y minus 7 also squared is equals to 25. Okay, so this is the example of the h comma k. Okay, so now we're going to have an example or we're going to transform uh, from, general, uh, from general form to standard form. And then we're going to locate the center and then the radius of the equation. Okay, so let's have the first example of a circle. So we're going to transform in general form x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0 into standard form. Okay, from general form we have to transform it to standard form. And then after, we're going to find the center and the radius of the circle. Okay? So, copy the given. So, we have x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 2y minus 7 is equals to 0. Okay? After this one, after you copy, the first thing you do is uh, from general, you have to combine like terms. Okay? We have to combine like terms. So, we have x squared minus 2x plus y squared minus 2y is equals to 7. Okay, for the constant value here in general form, you have to transpose this one into the right side of the equal sign. Okay, so you have to transpose. So once you transpose, if the sign is negative, if we transpose, magiging positive. If the uh, if it is positive sign and we transpose, magiging negative sign. Okay, it will change the sign. Okay, next, after you combine like terms, you have to regroup, okay, completing the square type. Okay, we're going to complete this square. Okay, for the completing the square, we have to find the third term. Okay, to find the third term of each equation or expression, we have to divide the set, the middle term into two. Okay, we have to divide the middle term into two. Okay, so divide this one, this one first. So we have negative two, divide two, is equals to negative one. Okay, after you divide, you have to square the answer. Okay, after you divide, after you get the answer, you have to square it. Okay, so therefore, negative 1 squared is equals to positive 1. Okay, well, uh, kung ano po yung nilagay nyo dito sa right, left side ng equal sign, ilalagay nyo din po siya sa kabila. So, we have put here positive 1, so we also add here positive 1. Okay, so we already done for the third term of the x, uh, x variable. Okay, for the first expression, we already done. Next, for the y naman po tayo. Okay, again, same process lang po. In order to get the third value, you have to... Divide the second term into 2. Okay? So, negative 2 divide 2. We have negative 1 as well. Okay? And then, after that 1, squared mo siya. So, negative 1 squared or negative 1 times negative 1. So, it will be positive 1. Okay? So, kung ano yung lalagay dito sa kabila. Kung anong dinagdag natin dito, idadagdag din siya sa kabila. So, we also had put here positive 1. Okay po? Okay, so after this one, okay, simplify natin. So, 7 plus 1 plus 1 is equals to 9. 
Okay? After, erase natin to. Okay, after this one, we have to um, proceed to the standard form. Okay? So, the standard form, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equals to r squared. Okay? So, this one is the standard form of a circle which is the center located at h comma k. So, we'll have to make this expression into this one. Okay? So, completing the square tayo. So, for this ex first expression, we have x. So, copy this the variable. And then, for the sign, copy the middle sign here. Okay, so, kapahin niyo yung middle sign. We have negative, so kapahin natin. And then, for the value of the h, we have to square the third term. Okay, for the value of h, we have to square the third term. So, square root of 1 is 1. Okay, and then squared, then copy the sign, plus quantity. And then, the variable for the second expression, so we have y. And then, for the sign of the second term, we have negative and then the square root of the third term, square root of 1 is 1 also. Therefore, y is minus 1 squared equals 2. And then the value of our r, okay, so we have 9. Okay, so for the value of our r squared is equals to 9. Okay, so we're writing the standard form of the circle. Okay, after you have this, uh, uh, already formed the general form to standard form, next we have to get the center. Okay, to get the center, just simply get the B, or just simply equate the expression into 0. So, here in the x, we have x minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, equate to 0. So, x transpose the negative 1 into the right side of the equal sign. So, we'll have positive 1. Okay, for the y naman, we have y minus 1 is equal to 0. And then, transpose y is equal to positive 1. Therefore, your center, okay, your center will be positive 1 and positive 1. Okay, for the radius naman, okay, to find the radius, we have to get this one. Okay, so this is the... Okay, you just simply substitute the r squared into 9. Okay, just simply substitute the 9 into r squared, okay? So, we have r squared so equals to 9, okay? And then, to get the value of r, we have to eliminate the squared. Okay, to eliminate the squared, we have to square both sides. Okay, and then cancel. Okay, therefore, may iwan na lang si r. O si r, and then the square root of 9, we have 3. So, therefore, the radius is 3. Okay, for the equation, okay, for the equation, or the general form of x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0, we have the center of negative, uh, positive 1, comma 1, and the radius is 3. Okay, now, so let's proceed on graphing the circle. Okay, so to graph a circle, okay, so let's have the given number 1, which is x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 2y minus 7 equals to 0, where the standard, the standard form we get is quantity x minus 1 squared plus quantity y minus 1 squared, where the radius equals to, our, the radius, r squared is equals to 9, and for the center and the radius, we have center, by having the x and y, we have positive 1 and positive 1. And for the radius, we have positive 3. Okay? By having the center and the radius, we can now graph the circle. Okay? By having the center and the radius, we can now graph the circle. Because we all know that the radius, okay, so the radius is a constant distance from the center. Okay? By having this radius, we can have a circle. By, okay, let's draw... A Cartesian plane and so let's have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so here this is one positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four. This is x axis, this is y axis. This one is four, three. 2, 1, and for the down part, we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and this part naman, we also have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. Okay, now, we have to have a graph for a circle, just simply uh, locate the center first, so we have positive 1 and 
one so here so yan so this will be your center okay next after is the radius okay so from the center center we're going to count for the right side three times okay three units so one two and three so we'll end up here okay for the ano ha, vertical line naman po so taas po ng center have here so count ka rin po ulit ng three so one two three so end up here next naman po dito sa so, left side so, 1, 2, and 3. Ayan. And, the last one, 1, 2, 3. Here. Okay, after that one po, after nyo magkaroon ng, or malocate po yung points, now we can connect. Okay, we're going to connect in order for us to form a circle. circle po. Okay, after you plot the points, you can now have, or you can now connect the points and then form a circle. Okay, so again, this is the center and here from here to this point is the radius, which is radius equals to 3. Okay, so let's have another example for the circle. So, transform the general form 16x squared plus 16y squared plus 9x minus 40y is equals to 315 of a circle into a standard form. Find the center and the radius of the circle. Okay, so having this given, we have to write it first. Okay, so this is, is a general equation of a circle, which is um, 16y squared plus 96x minus 40y is equals to 315. Okay, after you copy, first is you have to combine like terms, okay? So, si x, saka si x, saka si y, pagsasamayin. So, we have 16x squared, and then, plus 96x, plus 16y squared, minus 40y, is equals to 315. Okay, after you combine like terms, group natin sila. Okay, so we'll have here 16 x squared plus 96x plus 16y squared minus 40y is equals to 350. So, what have you noticed? There are efficient value for the uh, variable na naka-square natin. So, what we're going to do, we have to factor or lalabas natin si 16 dito sa quantity. Okay? Si 16 ilalabas natin dito. Okay? So, we're gonna have 16 may iwan na lang si x. So, we have here so, x squared plus, okay? Anong gagawin dito? So, ang gagawin natin si 96 si 16 i-divide natin siya kay 96. So, mangyayari 96 divided 16 will have the value of 6x okay? Plus, and then for the third term, blank muna natin and then plus Okay, again, ilalabas natin si 16 also. Ipapaktor natin. So, 16, labas. And then, si 16 na nilabas natin, i-divide natin siya by 40. Okay, si 16 na nilabas natin, i-divide natin siya by 40. So, 40 divided 16, we have the value of 2.5. Okay, plus, and then blank for the third term, is equals to 315. Okay, then follow. Next, after you factor, or nilabas na natin yung 16, okay, dito na natin, kukunin natin yung third term. Okay, again, same process and how to get the third term. Just simply divide the second term or the middle term into 2. Okay, divide 2. And then, so we have the answer of, so 6 divided 2, we have 3. And after, square the answer. So, 3 squared is equals to 9. Okay? So, again, kung ano pong nilagay natin dito, ilalagay din po natin siya sa right side ng equal sign. So, we have here 9 and copy din natin si 3. Okay? Pag may nilabas po tayo ng coefficient value, wag po natin kalimutan. Okay? Si, yung nilabas natin ng na coefficient value, i-multiply natin siya kay 9. So, we have here, plus 9 multiplied to 16. Okay? After naman po, dito naman po tayo. So, we have here, so, 2.5 divide to is equals to 1.25. Okay, 1.25. 25, and then, squared po natin siya. 
So, 1.25 squared, we have 1.56. Okay, to decimal lang po yung kukunin natin. Okay, after po niyan, ganun din po yung gagawin natin dito sa kabilang expression. Kukupihin natin. Or, kukunin na, ilalagay natin dito sa right side. Is yung dinagdag natin na third term. And then, yung coefficient value na nilabas natin. Okay, plus 1.56 multiplied to the value coefficient, we have 16. Okay, after that one, simplify this. So, we have 315 plus 9 times 16, we have, uh, this one is 144. And this one, 1.56 times 16, we have um, 24.96. So, simplify. So, 315 plus 144 and plus 24.96, total of 483.96. Okay, after nyan, okay, simplify natin. So, ilalagay natin dito para magkasya lahat. So, we have 483.96 Okay? Okay, we can erase this one na. Okay, after after po nyan, makuha na po yung value natin. Okay, we already simplify. You have to cancel the 16. Okay, kailangan po natin makancel yung coefficient value na nilabas natin. Okay, to cancel po, you have to divide both side by 16, or yung coefficient value na nilabas natin. Yan rin po yung i-divide nyo para makancel natin sila. Okay, divide both sides. So, cancel na natin sila. So, may iwan na lang na expression. Just run this. And this. Okay, so, we'll copy. So, we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus okay, so, kita natin na plus, and then y squared minus 2.5 plus 1.56 equals 2 and then simplify 483.96 divide 16 we have the answer of 30.25 okay after nyan we're going to make this expression into standard form okay we're already near for the standard form okay so simplify natin we're going to have a perfect square binomial okay so just copy the variable okay copy the variable we have here yeah, x and for the sign copy the middle sign Okay, kung ano po yung sign ng middle term, kukopyahin nyo po. So, we have here, positive, and then the square root of the third term. Okay, the third, third term, we have here, 9. So, square root of 9, we have 3. Okay, 3 squared. Okay, and then plus, y naman po tayo. So, we have quantity, and then yun na yung naka-squared na variable. So, we have y, and then copy the sign of the middle term. We have here, negative, so negative, and then the value of the, uh, the square root of the 1.56, we have... 1.25 okay, squared equals to copy 30.25 okay, so this equation is a standard form of the circle, which is center located at h, okay, so now let's have the a uh, center, okay, to get the center uh, I can equate this one into 0, okay, so x plus 3 is equals to 0 and you can have we transpose the positive 3, so we gonna have negative 3. Okay, for the y naman, we have y minus 1.25 is equal to 0. We transpose, have 1.25. Okay, for the radius, for this one, r squared is equals to 30.25. Okay, or simply r is equals to okay, the square root square root natin both side, cancel, cancel therefore the R is 5.5 okay so therefore the center of this given is okay, the value of Rx here we have negative 3 comma and then the value of Y we have positive 1.25 okay so the center of 16 x squared plus 16y squared plus 96x minus 40y is equals to 315 is negative uh, 3 comma 1.25 and the radius have 1.5 okay okay again po pag may ganito po coefficient value dito sa x pa factor natin siya ilalabas natin siya sa quantity okay and then after yung malabas yung variable na yung uh, value na nilabas nyo i-divide nyo po siya dito Okay, para makuha natin si, si second term. 
Okay? So, magingyari, 96, divide yung nilabas nyo na value, then that will be your second term. Okay? Again po sa third term po para makuha, divide the second term into 2, and then after, yung answer po, i-square natin, that will be your third term. Okay, so let's have the example number 3. Okay, from the general equation, which is 16x squared plus 16y squared plus 9x minus 42y is equal to 315, we'll get the standard of x plus 3 squared plus y minus 1.25 squared equals to 30.25. Okay, word, the center we get is negative 3 comma positive 1.25 and for the radius we get the value of 5.5 okay so having this 2 again we can graph the circle okay just simply from the x okay, again this one is h and this is in this k where h is the x axis and the k is the y axis okay so Um, for the h, we have negative 3. So here, but this part is the negative. So let's count. 1, 2, 3. This is 1 from here. And then positive. So pataas tayo kasi positive si k. Okay, so from negative 3 and 1.25. So 1.25 dito yung banda. Yeah. So here. Okay. After... Okay, radius naman po tayo. So, this one will be the center. Center is the negative 3 point, uh, comma, negative, uh, positive 1.25. Okay, locate natin sa radius. Sa so, radius natin is 5.5. Okay, so magka-count tayo para right side ng 5.5 from the center and also for the left side naman and upward and downward. Okay, left side, uh, right, uh, right side mo tayo. So, from here, so let's count. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 4, 5.5. So, it's na yan siya. And here. Okay, so this will be the point of the circle or the end point of so the radius. For the up point naman, also found 5.5. So, have here. So, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. Ayan siya. 9.5, may 0.5 pa pala. So, yun yung 1, 3, 4, 5, and then 0.5. Ayan. Okay. The other one naman, we have also 1.5. So, from here, 1, so jump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here. The other side naman, we have a 1, we have 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5.5. So here. And sya. Okay, after we plot, connect the points. Okay, connect the dots. And then form a circle. Connect the dots and form a circle po. Okay. Pupasensya nyo na yung circle ko. Hindi, hindi masyadong circle. Ayan. Okay. So from here, from the center to the end of the circle, is the radius which is r is equals to 5.5 oh. so another example for the circle so we're going to transform transform the general form x squared plus y squared minus 14x plus 2y is equals to negative 14 into standard form okay after we transpose uh, transform the general form to standard we have to locate the center and the radius okay to locate this one we have to copy first the expression or the equation so we have x squared plus y squared minus 14x plus 2y equals to negative 14. Okay, after this one, you have, okay, the first thing to do is you have to combine like terms. Okay, so we have x squared minus 14x and 
And then next, we have positive y squared and that positive 2y cos 2, negative 14. Okay, after this one, we have co after we combine like terms, we have to regroup it into or to form a perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, the first is the x and then second is the y. So, we have x squared minus 14x plus and then for blank for the third term and quantity and then plus ito naman tayo sa y so we have y squared plus 2y plus and then blank for the third term is equals to negative 40 okay after that one way to find the third term we have to divide the middle term for us to get the third term okay so first here this expression we have negative 14 okay again to get the third term we have to divide the second term into and then after you divide, you squared it. As we have negative 14 divide 2, we divide 2, we have negative 7. Okay, and then square the answer. So negative 7 squared, we have positive 49. Okay, again, what you add here, what value you add here, you also add to the other side. So we have positive 49, we also add, put here positive 49. Okay, next, for the y naman, we have y squared plus 2y. Okay, to get the third term, divide the middle term into 2. So, 2, positive 2 divide 2, is equals to 1, and then square that. So, we have positive 1. Because you have here, positive 1. Okay? Next, we have to simplify. So, we have f, okay, copy the variables. We have x, and then for the sign, just simply get or copy the middle sign. So, you have here negative, so negative, and then the square root of the the third term. Okay, the square root of the third term for the h, we have 14 square root of 49, we have 7. Okay, squared. Plus, and then the, um, copy the variable of y, and then copy the sign of the middle term, plus, and then for the square root of the third term, we have 1. Okay, is equals to, and then simplify, or yeah, simplify negative 14 plus 49 plus 1, we have 36. Okay, we have. 36. So, therefore, for the center of this given, okay, so, equate natin siya 0, so we have negative 7 is equal to 0, so x equals to 7, and for the y plus 1 is equal to 0, y is equals to negative 1. And for the r, okay, r squared is equals to 36, okay, square it natin, in order for us to eliminate the square, the r so therefore your r is equals to 6 okay so therefore your center is 7 comma negative 1 and for the radius we have 6 or just simply kung medyo uh, para mas mabilis yung gagawin nyo for the center just simply change the sign here so since we have here um negative Okay, to get the value of our h in the center, just simply change the sign. So, negative dito, magiging positive siya. Okay, dito naman sa y natin, or sa k value natin, dito nakalagay positive. Pag nilagay natin siya center dito sa value ng k, we'll change it to negative. Pag negative naman po dito, pag dating dito, magiging positive. Dito naman, pag positive dito, pag dating dito, magiging negative. For the general equation, and for the standard equation, we get, okay, a while ago, nakuha natin na standard equation, we have x minus 7 squared plus y positive 1 squared equals to 36, okay? For the center, we get the value of positive 7 and negative 1. And for the radius, okay, we have 6. Okay, again, having this 2, we can now have, or we can graph the circle. Okay, first, draw a Cartesian plane. Okay, so let's have here 1. So, dito lang natin para medyo maginis tignan, no? Let's have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so since our H here, di ba, yung H natin siya yung x-axis. So, kaya mayroon tayo magkakontra dito ng 7 or 8. Okay, next naman po, we have positive 1. But also, we got also here. Our interval, we also have 7 or 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
Okay, again, this is y axis, this is x axis. Okay, ganun din po sa baba, magbibigay na din po. 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, 1, 2, 3, alay, nanggap 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Okay, after this one, okay, locate po natin yung center. Okay, locate natin center, which is sa positive 7 and negative 1. Okay, so positive 7 here, negative 1 po sa, x, sa y axis, ibig sabihin sa baba po tayo. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then, for the y, or for the k, we have negative 7. So, dito tayo sa baba. Negative 7, negative 1. So, ito po siya. Okay? So, this one kasi is 1, 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5, positive 6, positive 7. This one naman is negative 1. So, pag intersection nila, okay? So, ayan po siya. Kaya dito yung magiging center natin. Okay po, nakakasanod. Okay? After... So, this will be your center. Center is positive 7 and negative 1. Here. Okay, now let's have the radius which is 6. Okay, so 6 po tayo. Magbibilang tayo dito. For right side, for left, upward and pa downward na 6. Okay, so let's have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we'll here. The other side naman po, left side naman po tayo, also count 6, so from, from the center, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so dito po, okay, pa upward naman, also count 6 times, 1, 2, okay, have here 3, 4, 5, and 6, okay, so dito po yung isang end point ng radius, other than one, one, so downward naman po tayo. We also count 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, here po. Okay? And after nyo po, magkaroon ng, uh, after plotting, okay, connect the dots. Okay, let's form a circle. Okay, let's form a circle. Ayan po siya. Okay po. Okay, so that's how to uh, that's how to graph a circle. Okay, after you get the that's our center and the radius. Okay. Okay, so next example we have. Uh, the given or general form 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 14x plus 18y is equal to 7. We were going to transform this one into standard form and after we're going to locate the center and then the radius. Okay, so let's have copy this one first. So 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 14x plus 18y is equal to 7. Okay, after we copy the given, um, First is you have to combine like terms, okay? So, combine like terms, pagsasamahin lahat si x, isa kasi y. So, 2x squared, and then next is negative 14x. Okay, next na po y na po tayo. So, we have positive 2y squared plus 18y is equals to 7. Okay, after po niyan, so we have uh, already arranged, or we already done combining like terms. Next po, i-regroup po natin sila. So, we have... 2x squared minus 14x okay, plus 2y squared plus 18y is equals to 7. Okay, after po natin ma-regroup, na kung napapansin natin, meron pong coefficient value na kasama si x at saka si y squared. Okay, so ang gagawin natin, ilalabas po natin sila. Okay, ipa-factor natin sila. Ilalabas natin sila sa quantity. Okay, again, si 2, ilalabas natin sila sa quantity. So, mangyayari, nagiging 2 and matitira na lang sa loob ng quantity is si x. Okay? x squared minus, and then, anong gagawin para makuha natin si second term? I-divide natin si 2 dito sa 14x. Okay? Yung nilabas natin na coefficient value, uh, i-divide natin dito sa 14x para makuha natin si second term. Okay? So, 14x, uh, 14, rather, 14 divide 2 will have 7. Okay? Negative 7x plus for the third term, 
Later, pukunin natin and plus. Okay, again, dito, lalabasin natin si 2. And then, y squared plus. Okay, para makuha natin sa second term, di-divide natin again yung value na nilabas natin dito sa 18. So, we'll have 18 divide 2. We have 9. Okay, 9y plus. Okay, later, for the third term is equals to 7. Okay po. Now, to get the third term, again, same process, you have to divide the second term into 2. Okay, we have, so 7 divided by 2, we have 3.5. Okay, to get the third term, squared mo natin yung nakuha natin. Okay, that have 3.5, that's your um, 12.25. Okay, for the other one naman, uh, before that, kung ano po yung again, kung ano po yung dinagdag natin dito, ilalagdag na po sa kabila, and huwag po kailimutan yung coefficient value na nilabas natin. Imamultiply po sa third value na nakuha natin. Okay, so we'll have here positive 12.25. 25 and then multiply to 2. Okay, next naman po dito tayo. Okay, so we have here y squared plus 9y. Okay, to get the third term again, same process, divide the second term into 2. So, 9 divide 2, we have 4.5. Okay, and then squared of 4.5 squared equals to 20.25. Okay, so kung ano din nagdag, then dagdag din sa kabila. So, we have here plus 20.25 and then the coefficient na nilabas natin which is 2, multiply natin dito. Okay? After po, simplify tayo. So, we have here 7 plus 12.25 times 2, we have 24.5 plus 20.25 times 2, we have 40.50 Okay? Or 40.5 Okay po? Then after simplify again, so, I'll have 7 plus 24.5 plus 40.5 is equals to 70. Okay. Barahin natin ito ha. Okay, so change natin yung value dito para magkasya yung space natin. So, we'll have here 72. Okay, after po nyan, masimplify natin, nakuha na natin yung third term. We have to eliminate or cancel the two. Okay, again po, in order for to cancel this one, we have to divide both side by the coefficient na nilabas natin. Okay, so dito po sa example natin, we have 2. So, divide natin both side by 2. So, we can cancel now. So, matitira lang itong pen. So, we have here x squared minus 7x plus 12.5 25 rather okay, plus y squared plus 9y plus 20.25 is equals to 72 divided 2 we have 36. Okay? After this one, we'll proceed to the standard form. Okay, simplify po natin again. Okay, so copy the variable natin. So, we have x. And then, yung second sign natin, which is negative, copy. And then, for the h value natin, is square po natin yung third value, that will be your h. Okay, so, square of 12.25, we have 3.5. Okay? Then, plus... Then, the variable here, y. And then, the sign of the second term, we have here positive, so plus. And then, for the k, the square root of 20 point, uh, the third term will be your k. So, square root of 20.25, we have 4.5. Okay, squared. Palimutan yung squares equals to, copy, 36. Okay, now, we already in the standard equation of the circle. Okay, we're already in the standard equation. Now, we're going to locate are going to get the value of our center and the radius, okay? Para makuha po yun, you can have the, uh, you can do the equating uh, zero or just simply change the sign po, okay? Gusto nyo po gawin para sure kayo, you can equate to zero naman po, okay? So, use the x minus 3.5 is equal to zero, then x, and then transpose to negative 3.5, so we have positive 3.5. And for here, y, plus 4.5 is equal to 0. Then, transpose the positive 4.5 will be having negative 4.5. Okay, or other naman, po, pwede nyo naman gawin para mas nabilis, we have the center. Kita ba? Okay, for the center, we have, okay, just simply change the sign na lang po. 
Okay? Kung para mas mabilis, hindi na kailangan mag-equate, just simply change na lang po dito. Okay? So, we have here negative. Pag susulat po natin ito sa center natin, magiging positive 3.5. Okay? Then, comma. Okay? So, we have here positive. Change the sign po. Pag susulat natin sa K, having negative 4.5. Okay? Okay? Then, this will be your center already. Pwede ba kung titignan mo siya, same lang po sila ng sagot natin. Kung i-equate it na zero. So, huwag nyo nang pahirapan sa sarili nyo. Pag nandito na po kayo sa standard equation ng circle, okay, which is h comma k, kayo just simply change sign na lang po natin. Okay, change sign na po yung meron natin. Pag meron dito negative, pag dating po dito sa center natin, will be positive. Pag positive naman po, change natin magiging negative. Okay, for the radius naman po, just simply square out na lang po the value. 